chances are it's not going to happen. Ha this is not going to happen again. But we have to ensure that it's not going to happen again. And being a mother, you know, anyone who's a mother or a child, it's just, it's unfathomable. It is just unfathomable. But that was Kate Steinle's mother in 2015. Kate Steinle was shot and killed in San Francisco by an illegal. He'd been deported five times, convicted seven times of drug felonies, among other things. He'd just been released from jail three months prior. A federal request had been filed to hold him. He wasn't held. They continue to fight for justice. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals slapped down their lawsuit. They cannot sue the sanctuary city of San Francisco for negligence. The judges there said there's no law in California requiring that the sheriff had to, had to notify ICE about this guy's release. Let's get right to Sheriff Mark Daniels about this. Many angel families across the country are following this timely case. Your take on this? Well, I... Hello, hello, Liz. You know, I can't express my disappointment. I mean, my heart goes out to Kate's family. I mean, here you have a five-time deported felon that takes an innocent life that was in the prime of her life, and, and, and there's no consequences to that. And we're down here on this border trying to secure it and keep this country safe. And, and I got to say, the Ninth Circuit doesn't disappoint us. They keep, they're very liberal, and they're just, who are they protecting? Americans? I, I'm just... I, I challenge that thought. I really do. To your point, let's listen to angel parents sharing their stories. Listen. He was killed on his way home from work on May 12, 2014, by a repeat illegal alien criminal who was driving drunk the wrong way um, over 35 miles and slammed head on into my son. Him and his partner had just gotten done running a call. They were on their way back to the station, and a drunk driver that was here illegally pulled in front of the ambulance. Um, with no regard to anybody else, and um, my husband's ambulance flipped over, and he and his partner both lost their lives in that accident. And Sheriff, look at this. A new study by the Asian Law Caucus and the University of Oxford, a center there, found that four out of ten California police agencies are now blowing off the state sanctuary law, saying, yes, we will work with ICE and tell ICE the release date of violent criminal illegals. Your take on that? I commend them. I commend these leaders, these law enforcement leaders that take an oath of office to support the Constitution and their communities and commend them. Kudos to them and to the leaders that are not, that are ignoring our federal laws, ignoring our federal partners, shame on them. You know, the California law, sanctuary law says, yes, actually, they should be doing just that. If a violent criminal is about to be released, the state officials, the, the law enforcement is supposed to tell ICE about this. I don't think that, I don't know if they're aware of that in California. Final word. Quick one. Well, I think they are aware of it. Very quickly, the National okay. Sheriff Association, police chiefs, we support, we support this. Sheriff Mark Daniels, thank you so much. Thanks for coming on.